guys, so we're going to see if we can uh, start this fire with some jute twine. I couldn't find any birch bark anywhere, and I didn't bring any with me. I have a little bit of fat wood, but not enough to uh, start a fire. So we're going to we're going to try to light it up with some uh, shoot twine here. It's funny, I already made uh, three friends today. There's a couple from, uh, from Switzerland that were doing a uh, North America tour by, by car, so they, they brought, brought down their uh, Range Rover. And, uh, this is a six-year uh, expedition for them, and they're on their last leg now. So I uh, gave them a couple of patches, and I also told them to look us up. And I also met this other fella, if you can see him. from New York and he drove down to Quebec City by car and then from Quebec City he biked it all the way up here and the guy was swimming across in this river in this uh, reservoir actually the water is super cold A lot of current. When you're in shape, you're in shape, right? Personally, I like my brewski once in a while. Black flies. Man, oh man. Fucking brutal. They really did a number on me this time.
Bon appétit. Got a couple of lumps on my head from these black flies. You think that I got beaten up with a baseball bat. Brutal, man. Brutal, I tell you. I don't know if I got uh, an infection or something, but I really just don't feel good right now. When I tried to light the fire before with the uh, with the Hudson's Bay tin, uh, I was at it too long without moving, and the flies they just came and they just my arms are off swollen here, my back of my ears, my throat. I feel dizzy when I get up. Uh, I hope I don't have to leave here in the evening. I'm wondering if it's a good idea to uh, stick it out, but hundred kilometers from Mekomo, uh, from uh, Manic 5. By the time I put all this stuff down, it's gonna, it's gonna get exhausted. Maybe it was the sun, I don't know. The sun was really hot today. I heard the moose on the other side of the lake earlier, as soon as I woke up from my nap. I heard them breaking brush. What they do, they just stomp on on uh, sticks like, you know, pretty wide and they just crack. It sounds like a gunshot. And it had to be moose, couldn't be gunshots. This hunting season is not open yet. I had another couple come before. They had a, if I recall, it was a white pickup truck. They're from California, they had California plates. I walked up to my car and they had just pulled in. And he was like really backing his truck up in the corner there. But when I went up to my car, which was like right, what, 20 feet away from where he was parked, from the other campsite over there. I said bonjour to the girl and she didn't respond at all. She put her head down, got into the truck, closed the door. So I didn't pay it any mind. I figured maybe, uh, maybe she's scared or something, so I just left her alone. And I heard the guy got into the truck, started up and just high bolted. They just took off. So I was wondering what the hell did they do? What do you think they did? A bunch of pigs. They went right on the campsite and they took a dump. There's toilet paper everywhere. That's why she didn't say hello. Everybody says hello. Dirty pigs. So a couple of shot over there and left your mess without burying it. You could have gone a little further in, buried it. You don't have to do it directly on the camping spot. I mean, it's very convenient because it's all open, but if you ever watch this video, from me to you, you're a bunch of pigs. I'd like to come on uh, Rodeo Drive and take a dump right in front of your big high-end boutiques there, see how you like it. Come in. You ship, you ship my fours, bastards. Well guys, as far as firewood goes, I think we're down packed for this evening. I just went and I hauled those two uh, big logs there. They're nice and dry. They're going to smolder for a good part of the evening. And I also went and I got 
some skin from the tree of life, birch bark. I had to leave everything behind and go down about 10 clicks, but uh, there were a couple of trees there and I harvested from them. Because without this, fire goes out. Good luck, try to start it. Catch you later, guys. Okay, guys. Well, uh, I woke up about 20 minutes ago to go take a leak. And uh, I gotta tell you, the temperature must have dipped crazy. I don't know if you can see that, but outside the tent, uh, I could see the smoke coming out of my mouth. So, what did I do? Am I ever glad that I took my uh, the mount uh, the Boral Mountain Wool Anorak with me and I sported it? So what I did last night, I removed uh, my pants, my socks. I just stayed with a t-shirt and uh, my underwear, thinking I'd be okay. Cause I have my uh, my Pendleton, okay? I'm glad I brought this guy too. But shit, man, it was cold, Tabarwet. It was very cold, man. Very, very cold. The, the fire went out. Nah, I'm not stoking no fire. I really don't feel like it. Now, I was worried about mosquitoes. Well, there's no mosquitoes or black flies now, man. They're probably all dead. That's how cold it is. So I put on my uh, my anorak, my wool anorak. Uh, I didn't put on my pants. They're still over here, hanging up. Although I did put on a pair of socks. I want to keep my two extremities, you know, warm. My head and my uh, my feet, and my uh, my hands. I'm just gonna tuck them in under the blanket, and I'll be okay. But I'm telling you temperature really dropped so this anorak really came in handy guys anyway it's what 10 30 now uh hope i don't have to get up again holy crap i'll see you guys in the morning so long last night. Wow. And uh, should have had a little heater inside the tent. All everything is humid. My pants are all wet. Whatever. We'll make some bannock. Stay with me, guys. We'll have some breakfast together. So what I've got here, guys, is some uh, pre-mixed uh, bannock uh, mixture that I made at home. It's just uh, some flour, baking powder, salt, and sugar. I'm not going to get into the recipe, although, uh, well, I can tell you. No secret. Calls for uh, one cup of flour, teaspoon of the baking powder, teaspoon of uh, sugar, and uh, a pinch of salt. And that's all she wrote. Now, what I'm going to make today, something uh, that the Greeks call Skillet bread. 
or Tiganopsomo. I remember my mom used to make this as a child and she would just fry it. Basically it's a bannock mixer, mixture and you just uh, you fry it and that's it. So let me get some uh, let me get some water into my mixture here, create my batter, and I'll get back to you because my batteries are running low, guys. So what I'm doing now, I'm just heating up some olive oil. I like to use olive oil. And no, this is not Timmy's coffee. I just kept the cup. Oh, wow. Basically what you want to do now, so you don't want your mixture, uh, you don't want your mixture too, uh, too loose, about the consistency of uh, pancake batter, maybe a little thinker, th thicker, and then all you do Drop these little spoonfuls in your oil. Well, I think I made too much. Oh, I guess I'll give some to you guys too, huh? Why not? They say it's not good to fry with olive oil. Well, I don't know whoever said that. Just leave them in here until they're nice and golden brown. I'll get back to you guys when they're ready to be served. I'll show you what these uh, little mouthful of decadence, delicious, chewy, fried bannock rolls are like. Stay with me. <laughs> Whoa. Can you see that? Can you guys see that? Oh my god, better than a jelly donut. Oh yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Good. Better eat this before they get cold. See you guys later. Mmm. Well guys, you didn't catch this on camera before but uh, I was being an idiot and I al cheapo and trying to conserve whatever little uh, methyl hydrate uh, alcohol was still left in my little uh, in my little stove by putting the cap on and snuffing it. Well, I burnt myself big time and it burnt right around the webbing here. I was trying to grasp it with my little uh, 
fish mouth expanders there, whatever you want to call them. And I'm telling you, I burnt the webbing and it hurts, man. Now let's see if there's any ointment in this stupid thing. If there isn't, I tell you, they're going to get a bad, bad review. No, don't need any whole pack. No. What's this? Okay. This is just a cleaning solution. We don't need that. We need some kind of an ointment. What the hell? Kind of shits this. Antiseptic ore. What the hell? You know what? This is bullshit. They give you all these medical terms on all these little packets and they don't tell you what the hell each thing is for. I'm not a doctor for Christ's sake. You know what I'm saying? The fuck, they even give you an instruction manual. In other words, read Quick Guide to First Aid CPR. It's not what I'm looking for. I burnt myself. Burns. Burns. Okay, burns. 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 You know what? This is bullshit, guys. You gotta take a lesson in first aid before you can use one of these kits. La cosa stoyero. That means you're Option plus my ass. Make it a little more user friendly. Compress. Press this. I'm gonna do what my grandmother used to teach me. Ow. Idiots. They could have put on each package, okay, this is for burns, this is for cuts, this is this. They use all these medical terms and I don't know how to read this shit. It pisses me off. Olive oil. First time, it will work all the time. Ah. That's it. It's a little sensitive, but you know what? It'll work. It'll work. Guys, if you have one of these first aid kits, a little piece of advice, open it up, read it, because when you're going to need it like I did, I've had this for I don't know how many years, I've never had to open it up. Now that I have to open it up, I see that there's not, what I need is not in there. Or, and if it is, you got to be a doctor to be able to use it, because anyway, whatever. <laughs>